Hello greatness, how are you doing today? We are continuing the book Christ in You by Joseph Berner. And we are on lesson number 18. Um, still in um, first chapter. It's broken into three chapters and um, different lessons, 45 lessons in total. We are on lesson 18. If you've missed any of the lessons, the link will be in the description below. So you can um, pick up from there. So um, we will take lesson 18 today. And lesson 18 is titled Idea. The expressed image. My goodness. Sunday was a day of great joy to me. Uh, the seventh day has a deep meaning for your planet. There is a correspondence to your Sunday with us, for the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord our God. Real prayer is a great attraction to us. Deep earnestness is the Open door for its answer. Mm. It attracts by its magnetism. The fullness of its need. In our last lesson, I told you that the place of creation in the individual the spiritual ground for the projection of thought from the divine innermost was the imagination. Here, our next consideration is idea. So, from a thought comes an idea. First, the eternal mind. Secondly, the thought. Third, thirdly, and lastly, the outcome of both is the idea that which is to come is to become manifest in the outermost plane of being. I will take it again. So we talked about imagination, but here we want to consider idea. So first is an eternal mind which people call the subconscious mind. Secondly, that subconscious mind produces a thought. Thirdly and lastly, the outcome of the subconscious mind or the eternal mind bringing a thought into your mind, right, produces an idea. Now you get an idea. Ooh, I got an idea. And he says, that idea is that which is to become manifest in the outermost plane of being. What are your ideas for the most part? Are they only the entirely the outcome of divine thought, do you express the living Christ? I want to make clear to you the omnipotence of the divine man and the reality of the God idea. Hmm. Hmm. Try and stand with me as you read this and look out upon the earth plane. For you will be filled with the longing desire to fulfill all the law, even as Jesus did. The great love will leave the 99 and bring in the remaining one. For all shall be in the kingdom of our Lord Christ. So God's idea for your world and for you is perfection and nothing less. Hmm. There are many who have passed from your earth, still clinging to the false idea that matter is substance. 
the result of long ages of sense belief. Hmm. Good spirits, often deeply reverent and noble, they still live on the material plane. It is to them real. They like to see their thoughts expressed on the material plane. This is a hindrance to them. All ignorance is as they cannot unfold to the higher experiences. Give more time to quiet, that you may have the reflection of God upon the mirror of your imagination, that you too may become God's idea. Hmm. For he has said, be ye holy. The growth of this perfect idea has become manifest to us. As you wait upon God, a great underwork is going on and afterwards it beareth fruit. Close the door of your closet against the suggestion of the senses hmm, that God's idea may manifest in your body. For if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Full, rich, life blood pulsates through the heart at one with God. This is the touch of healing because the vitality of the whole universe is no longer separate but delights to pour itself through its own God-given channels. Amen and amen. And that was a short one. Lesson number 18, the ex idea, the expressed line, expressed image. Idea, the expressed image. Again, God richly bless you. Thank you for joining us. Um, please share, subscribe, invite someone. Um, and let's join the conversation. I'll see you in the next episode of the next lesson lesson number 19 heaven is within you it is not a place i'll see you in that lesson have a good one and again here's your brother vincent upon have a good one bye bye